Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm finally doing the review of the uh, Dalek Collector's Set 1, uh, which I think it's the 25th of August today? I can't remember, it's a Tuesday, so maybe you'll be able to work it out via that, I don't know. But yeah, I, I'm really happy that I've got these. Now I got, or well, my mum was awesome enough to buy me two of these packs because I was going to buy two anyway so I think that's more reasonable than some people who have bought loads and loads and I've also opened the box for both so you know there's that as well um yeah I, I think I have seen uh, the 1963 episode the Daleks or, or Dalek I think it's called the Daleks but anyway I think I've seen it once before I could be wrong uh, or maybe I've just seen snippets of it from an adventure in space and time, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, I'm more reviewing the action figures, and yeah, they are teeny tiny compared to the Dalek Invasion of Earth Daleks, aren't they, really? You know, they're sort of quite smaller in terms of the design, although, other than the obvious, which is the skirt being so much smaller, which is essentially just that top bit of the skirt there instead of the big bumper part like thing instead of that they don't have that obviously and then also on the back they only have the uh, little things there on the back which I think is actually to indicate which one of these Daleks it is like this was actually done on the prop and I think there's a bit on the back of the packaging which tells you about that which is pretty cool uh, and that whereas on the back of the Dalek Invasion of Earth Daleks is obviously the iconic more iconic sort of a radar dish so yeah that's the thing there um much like the dalek invasion of earth though there is still a bit of sort of wash a gray wash which you can't really see on camera but there is a little bit of it just to give it a bit of a uh, added effect that it has actually uh, uh sort of been used as a prop almost which i love the detailing of that uh, or the added extra detailing of that. Much like the Dalek Invasion of Earth Daleks that I reviewed before or maybe after this set, depending on when I, which ones I upload when. Uh, I'd probably do f the first one first, even though I reviewed the second one first, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, I did, well, filmed the second, the Dalek Invasion one second and then this one now. Uh, anyway, the eye stalk and or iris, even the pupil, is dilated and or like zoomed in again, which again, I honestly think for the rest and or foreseeable uh, sort of sets in this range, the Dalek Inva uh, the da uh, history of the Dalek sets and or series of figures, I genuinely hope they continue doing this uh, on one Dalek and then having the wide eyed sort of uh, version uh, and why you might be saying that I would like that on pretty much most of the Daleks if not all of them a good chunk of the Daleks uh, it's just because it adds character to the Daleks other than just having them all look exactly the same it's like having the subtle detail of one of these Daleks having two of those little black marks and then the other having one again apparently the BBC prop designers and uh, costume designer sort of department did that so they could actually distinguish Daleks from each other so you know if there was a certain Dalek in a certain scene and or shot that needed to start moving about or start talking they could be like the two marked one over there by the left and it'd be like this one or the one marked one over by the right and it could be you know that one uh, and that so I think that's pretty cool um, the headlights are a little bit less sort of um, see-through-y they're a bit more sort of uh, uh, kind of just greyish. The they've still got the neck bin, and they've still got this sort of design where they've got just the sort of two main sort of silver bands around the midsection, and an empty sort of bit there as well. Which usually would I feel like in more modern Daleks be filled with like a circular thing or a different design thing. And then unfortunately, there's a bit of quite a bit of scuff marks on this blue sphere, which I've just noticed, but. For the most part they are silver and then baby blue sort of with the baby blue sort of uh, spheres which really do again pop in my opinion um, and that and then you've got the black uh, sort of um, eyes uh, the black plunger at the end and then also the the rings the the rings there as well the blue rings which I feel like 
are about the same, if not slightly more or few. Go check Batman Marches review reviews of these figures to know that, because I bet you he's probably gone in depth about that. Uh, and then the silver, blue, and then black, and likewise. And then, yeah, and then articulation, it's just standard Dalek articulation, which would be, you know, the ball joint for the uh, plunger goes up and down and left and right. Likewise with the extermination gun, it goes uh, side to side and up and down and that. And then the eye stalks move up and down. The eye stalks, uh, the eye stalks on these two are quite a lot looser than the uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth ones. I don't know if that's for any particular reason. Uh, maybe screen accuracy, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and then obviously the domes move full 360 as well to give that sort of range of like head movement as well as them obviously being on three uh, little wheels so you can actually you know move them about as such uh, like you would any other Dalek really. And then they've also got the detailing of the mesh bin uh, and that uh, as they always do and as I say the eye stalks move up to give that sort of sense of you know, looking upwards at the night sky and then, you know, you can move the plunger to do the iconic sort of, you know, Nazi salute as I feel like they often did in 60s Doctor Who stories although I could be completely wrong about that, but yeah um, yeah, I just, I think they're really nice, the, these ones are really basic I, I, I'll i be honest, as props, I do like the Dalek Invasion ones more, I think I think having them have such big uh, fenders and or uh, bumper cart like uh, uh, sort of bottom parts of the Dalek design really adds to the height of them, which then makes them more scary, you know, a film from low angles of them trundling uh, past the person and that. Uh, although these ones, I guess, the Daleks might actually be the first Dalek story, so, you know, kudos to the designers for making such an iconic, obviously, Dalek design, because it's, it's timeless, it's classic, it's, uh, as I say, timeless, no pun intended. And, uh, yeah, as I said before, with the Dalek Invasion of Earth, sort of Dalek, History of the Dalek set 2, I think, with the first set, you know, if you're a massive fan of 1960s Doctor Who, or you were a kid then, and you have nostalgia for this episode, or for the Daleks, or... You know, as I say, you want something to sort of decorate, you know, uh, your workspace or, or bedroom or, or or whatever, or your, you know, a friend or a family member or a cousin or a uh, a friend's kids love Doctor Who. You know, these might be what they want. Um, again, they are nineteen ninety nine retail price, so again, they are aimed or skewed more towards a collector. Again. Go see my other video or the second video about that uh, as I go more in depth about sort of who these the target demographic for these figures might be. Uh, but overall, I'd give them a solid sort of seven out of ten. I think they're pretty cool Daleks. I can't wait to see the rest of this sort of series of uh, Dalek figures, and I hope, as I say, I hope we get uh, one or two Dalek uh, history of the Dalek sets uh, for the foreseeable. Uh, years to come when uh, with B&M and uh, forever uh, for for as long as even uh, the uh, B&M Doctor Who action figure range will continue on to you know um, with the three packs I think these are a nice sort of complementary sort of set you know if for whatever reason there was no three pack uh, action figure set this year that you were interested in if that was the case then I think these Dalek ones hopefully would then grab your attention uh, you know even if as I say, the three packs didn't, uh, and I think that's a really good thing for, uh, for lack of a better term, character options to have up their sleeve, as it were, um, and that, and then also there's insane people like me who like army building, and then, you know, as I say, even if you're not massive into the Daleks, you might still like the design of these as sort of, uh, toys slash collectibles slash display pieces, so yeah, um, I'd give these ones a, a well-earned 7 out of 10. Uh, yeah, articulation's just standard and normal for a Dalek. I do like the difference in eye stalks and all, like, irises, and then also the, as I said before, the subtle detail of having the two slats there and the one slat there, uh, making it more, uh, sort of, uh, prop accurate. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please do comment, rate, and subscribe.